machine there you select your destination whether it's return if you're an adult or a child um, oh. All right. and these would be all your stops just make sure you get the right platform and the right train. Some of them will go to Hout, some of them will go to Malahide, some of them will go to Greystone, some of them will go to Bray. So just make sure you check. Because otherwise you're getting off, coming back on, getting off, and yeah. There's a, there's a church. And again, in Dublin city centre, there's, there's always a bus stop close by to bring you somewhere and uh, these are going to be continued five minute videos so it's going to be like one long episode and I'm going to stretch them out every second day because I'll be away for 58 days give or take um, cause like you got the two days traveling and then get back to it so um, I don't know, if, if people are interested in seeing Thailand videos, let me know. I'll upload them while I'm away. Whew, I can feel that turkey starting to be sweated out of me. Right. This is a pizza place, I don't have any glasses. So I can't really see the prices. Six euro for a salad. A painful location there. Yes. So, no new sponsors, so I don't have to fill in the, the airways with, oh, look at this thing that I got, you know, from this team. They told me to review it, and it's awesome. None of that yet. I'm not a sellout <coughs> yet. So if you want to get in contact with a sponsor of videos, <laughs> uh, geez. excuse me, I didn't mean to do that. So, Kennedy, this guy here doesn't know when to go home. So that was Westland Row. Westland Row. These are roads that I haven't really done before. And I find that doing them when they're empty is usually better. Maybe that's just personal preference. But I find when you have an empty road, you get to see everything. There's no distractions. Now, I've done Merriam Park, so if you want to check that out, that's previous, previous videos. Um, yeah, you might have to scroll back a while. <laughs> that was a while ago. Um, and then, if you want to see the nighttime one, I didn't want to really do one because the EU Rambler done a great one. So, if you want to check out his channel, he usually comments in the comments below. So, uh, you just click there and then you have to search for him. You know? Yes. Now again, it's, it's early. I might go this way. Take a left here. Go down this way. Not really much on it, but I just feel, I just have the feeling that I should go this way. Circle around a bit. So like a lot of these buildings will be converted into office suites and stuff like that. But who knows what's going to happen now with everyone working from home? You know? If people are working as efficient from home, why would a company spend X amount of money on accommodation? And what I'd love to see happen now is people start to work from home, if, if, if it suits them, you know? And more offices aren't needed in town. And they can be converted into houses for, you know, homeless and people who like you know can't afford rent and stuff you know 
Because, like, the way it works in my mind with the business is they're technically getting them rent free. So the way it works is it's an expense and you put down an expense. So if this is 2,000 euro a month and the company pays 2,000 euro for this a month, they don't have to pay tax in 4,000.